Tonight, a Jacksonville family wants a better explanation for what happened to their son while at Baldwin Middle Senior High School. The seventh grader was using the bathroom when another student videotaped it and then put that video on social media. It has left the student so humiliated and now he doesn't even want to attend school. The other student has been punished, but the family calls it a slap on the wrist. They spoke with On Your Side's Ken Amaro. This is the student's first year of attending Baldwin Middle Senior High, and it's off to a rough start because of what happened the day before Valentine's Day. I'm extremely upset about what happened. Natasha Gray told us her seventh grade son is now an emotional wreck. She wants to conceal her identity for his sake. My son was video recorded why he was using the restroom at Baldwin Middle Junior High School unbeknownst to him. We've seen the video and will not show it, but this is how it happened. The student was in a bathroom stall behind closed doors. He had just finished what he was doing and he heard a giggling and looked up and saw another student recording the entire event, much to his surprise. What happened afterwards was even more embarrassing because the video was posted on social media. And it was airdropped to multiple students and posted online to other people to see. School board police investigated and the student was suspended five days. Gray is now concerned about her son's welfare. He don't want to be in class. He don't want to go to school. He asks me every day, can I homeschool him now? On your side, reached out to the Duval County School Board. A spokesperson told us we have a legal and ethical obligation to protect the privacy and dignity of our students. The school has also been in communication with the families of the students to discuss continued intervention. He was violated. The school board says counseling is now available for her son. Gray wants the student behind the recording expelled or sent to an alternative school. Canamero, First Coast News, on your side.